They are one of the blue blood programs in all of college football. USC starts off week number one with Fresno State on Saturday night. For more, Yogi Roth, Mike Yam inside our San Francisco studios. All right, there's like a million ways we can go with this. I'm going to start with the schedule here. First six games for SC, daunting to me. And this is not an easy matchup for him. Team that's coming off a historic 12-win campaign, a conference championship. I get it, new quarterback for him. But how important is week number one for Clay Helton's team? It is huge. It is massive. And equally as massive is the seismic shift that happened on offense. This is USC. You referenced Blue Blood program. They're running the air raid with all those weapons on the outside, with JT Daniels as a signal caller getting the ball out, with Marquis Stepp and company at running back 230 plus barreling downhill. I mean, the air raid's never seen this type of talent in this system with Graham Harrell now as a new offensive coordinator. And with all the talk, all offseason long, the players hear it. Been in practice a bunch of times and talked to a ton of players. They cannot wait to get out there and just get it out of their system and go score, and I think they can put up 40. You mentioned the air raid, and I always think about just quick passes and whatnot. Graham Harrell, though, in his last year as an offensive coordinator, did have a 1,000-yard running back. Like, it's not just about JT Daniels and, and him getting the ball out quick. And I appreciate that, because you don't play up in the sky. Like, you get into the weeds, sure. and you get the details of this conference, obviously, and, and they're going to protect JT Daniels. This offense is a pure progression system, meaning go from one to two to three. If it's not there, get the ball out of bounds. If it is there, just take it. Take what the defense gives you. It includes the running game. So when a defense wants to drop eight in coverage because you're afraid of Michael Pittman, Tyler Vaughn, Amon Ross St. Brown, et cetera, et cetera, run the football. And they got the horses to do it, so you're right. They're not going to abandon the running back. Tailback you. It's not just air raid you and don't get the rock. They still will try to impose their will on teams with their offensive line because they have a talented one up front. A full recap of the first game of the season for Clay Helton's team. We got you covered. End of the night, Saturday, Pac-12 final score on Pac-12 Network and the Pac-12 Now app.